If you just started your first microeconomics class, there's three types of elasticity you're gonna be working with. And this is what you actually need to know about each of them. Now, before we begin here, remember, elasticity is all about a percent change in quantity divided by a percent change in price. That is what remains consistent throughout each of these three formulas. Now, whenever you see price elasticity of supply or demand, that is referring to the percent change. And keep in mind that triangle right there means change. It's the delta symbol of the quantity of supply or demand, whatever we're working with, divided by the percent change in price. So for example, let's say the price of a good increases by 10% and the quantity supplied of a good increases by 20%. Our price elasticity of supply value in that case would be positive two. In other words, with every percent increase in price, our quantity supply is increasing by 2%. All right, income elasticity of demand is referring to the percent change in quantity demanded of a given good divided by the percent change in income. We use this formula to determine if a good we're working with is an inferior good, a luxury good, or a normal good. And for example here, let's say the income in a given country increases by 5% and the quantity demanded of a given good decreases by 20%. Well, negative 20 divided by positive five is negative four. And since our income elasticity of demand value is negative, that means we're working with an inferior good. Before we get to this last one here of cross price, if you like the way that I explain microeconomics, go check out my microeconomics cram kit. It takes me about two hours to genuinely walk you through every concept in this class. I've got 95 concept breakdowns that just step-by-step step walk you through what you need to know. And they're completely free access to you, available when you need it. So click that link in my bio to go check it out on my site. All right, cross price elasticity of demand is all about the percent change in quantity demanded of good A, divided by the percent change in price of good B. We use cross price elasticity to determine if two goods are substitutes or complements. For example, let's say the price of a given good increases by 10% and the quantity demanded of another good, another different good increases by 5%. Well, okay, in that case, that means that the original good increasing in price means consumers are shifting over to the other good. They're substituting the original good for the alternative good. And that means the two goods here, A and B, are substitutes. If this value is negative, that means they're complements. Price of a given good increases and the quantity demanded of a related good decreases because now both goods are more expensive to purchase. So B raising in price hurts the number of units of A that are purchased. That wraps up the three main types of elasticity that you need to know. I'm doing a 15 week series here. We're in week four right now of walking through everything you need to know for microeconomics. So if you could use my help throughout this semester, make sure to give me a follow.